weather is perfect for my Yemeni lamb stew. Lovely spices coming together with that kiss of turmeric. All one needs to do is put it into a bowl, enjoy it with some sardo bread slices, cuddled up in a blanket watching TV. Perfection, right? Don't forget to subscribe and hit on the bell icon as we get to creating it. Into a cast iron pot, nice and hot, goes in nearly 20 ml of olive oil and along with that you want some additional flavoring and that comes in with nearly 20 grams of yellow salted butter just gonna allow it to melt use butter if dairy suits you fine otherwise go right ahead and just add some more olive oil as we allow this to melt into that goes in a kg of lamb meat and I'm just using my hand because I want it to sear up really well together get perfectly brown and gnarly Season with some sea salt crystals and give it a nice stir so that it browns up. Cook it on the highest possible heat for about 4-5 to five minutes. Halfway through the process of searing in goes some beautiful green cardamom, 6 of them, 1 stick of cinnamon, 1 star anise, about 8 or 10 cloves and lastly about 15-20 to 20 pieces of black, beautiful black pepper. Just allow that to go in and infuse along with the meat, giving out its subtle aroma and what warm and comforting creation this turns out to be. As the whole spices leave out their subtle aroma, in goes 8 cloves of garlic finely minced up. And now we put in a whole lot of spices and turmeric, the star of this creation, comes together with nearly 40 spoons of it. It's going to give it that beautiful ochre yellow colour but infusing it with the flavor, the warmth and the comfort it brings. Four teaspoons of roasted cumin powder going in and two tablespoons of roasted beautiful seeds of coriander powder. Just take it, pound it up and put it in. The scents are earthy, sharp and highly aromatic in my kitchen. Allow this to sear on the slowest possible simmer for another four to five minutes, allowing the lamb to absorb all the goodness of the spices. As the color changes, in goes one red onion. Now at this stage, you can take out the lamb and saute the onions, but you don't really want to do that if you're on an easier quest. So just add the onions, let their sweetness resonate really well, along with one red pepper cut into dices and just allow everything to cook together. The purpose is to get the sweetness marrying with the earthy aromas of the spices. In goes 500 grams of baby potatoes and about 250 grams of carrots cut into large dices. Just put all that in and now allow it to cook on the slowest possible simmer for another three to four minutes. In goes 250 ml of regular tomato puree. Just allow it all to come together. And it's time to just add some chicken stock right into this pot. Lastly, a liter of chicken stock and hot going in. And we're just going to allow this to come to a rapid boil. Bubbling away, we're going to lower the flame and cook this covered on the slowest possible simmer for a good one hour. An hour later, and it's perfectly okay if you can leave it for another 15 minutes just to intensify the turmeric -y goodness. All this needs now is just a gentle stir. Flavors are sharp and look at that beautiful color that has come about. Garnish it with about 4 tablespoons of curly parsley, a quick stir and it's time to switch off the flame. Now although this stew has the earthy tones of turmeric, it is that kiss of tomato that merges together bringing those flavours truly perfect for the weather that we are in. Warm blankets calling me with a bowl of this and some sardo bread toast for a decadent dinner. Don't forget to share notes of love by hitting on the like button. Stay safe, stay blessed and don't forget to leave a note below. Ba -ba -da -ba -da.